Hi guys, what's going on? This is C3Yank. Nowadays, I am doing request tutorials and I hope you all are enjoying it. This time, I am going to do a tutorial about how to create gaming hair and fur in ZBrush. So, watch the tutorial carefully. So, first of all, I am going to append a sphere and going to use move to and scale for resizing it and now using move brush for defining its shape according to the skirt using dynamesh and giving values and now again using combination of move brush and smooth brush accordingly now masking it for defining the area wherever I want for and going to come here in 5 mesh option click preview and adjusting max fiber give the value 8 and playing with coverage because we are going to use this mesh as a plate of alpha and giving some more gravity Now I think that I should not mask this area because here fiber mesh are going to overlap the neck area. So I think we need to save this file also. Do it ok. And do preview again. and for our alpha I'm going to use this these two images open it in Photoshop so select this alpha you can download these alpha from below link in description so copy this here and unlock this below image do it ok and for creating selection I am going to use color range give value whatever the value you feel that is good for you you can go for that value I did ok and from here you can delete the fur uh, but I think that value is not good so I again come here in color range increase the value and do it ok now again come here and delete the unwanted fur and you can see here that it is going to have a straight line here is no blending so for blending it I am going to use masking again it here and going to use brush for masking it so you can do in your way so 
first of all I did like this and play with opacity and trying to blend it now save it in PNG do it save ok and come here do it preview you can import it from here in import import for do it open and do it no because we don't want auto size map and now if you zoom in you can see here the map is reverse so I again upload it from here in texture select this and from texture palette in above I am going to rotate it and again pick it from here do it no and now you can see that R alpha is in correct rotation so for transparency use this transparent option and now I am increasing its length according to the alpha because I am getting more idea what length it requires so now for test render I did PPI and it is looking very nice here so we shall adjust that later but I give some value to max fiber I did accept and with option no now it is having new sub 2 and you can use chrome brushes you can use chrome brushes for defining the flow of fur so here we have groom hair toss with this brush I am defining the flow of fiber because it can overlap the mesh of neck and now using blower use these brush according to you whatever the feel you want to give using different groom brushes you can see on screen I think it should look something like this giving using more brushes again some chrome And for rendering it, I am using BPI. Mm. Here is looking very nice. I can say that. If you want more fur, you can increase its count in max fiber. So you can use same method if you want to create fur. I give you example like in this shoe create a base mesh and do the same I did previously and now for here I am going to do same I mask the area where I want my hair mask the whole area and do it little precisely and again going to use fiber mesh did it with preview giving more length
now giving coverage because again we are going to use this as a plate of alpha trying to play with slim but i think it is not helping me so i keep that in previous value and from the profile i am trying to give more width to the alpha plate you can see that if i do it down it is getting more thinner so i keep it up and now playing with gravity do it more and for importing alpha using this import option and you can see that which alpha i am using i created this as i did previously for the fur so select this do it no and for transparency increase it value but this time i am not going to do it full so i do that 18 in beginning and now with that value i am going to render it for the test render Oh, I think this much here is not good so I reduce it value and do it 15 and again render it hmm. now I think I should give more fibers do it 15 again render it mm. so render is looking nice so if I want to see fibers of it so first of all I import my texture from here and switch off it so you can see that it is just a plate of mesh for alpha so again I import alpha and now with after all settings I do it accept with no option and from sub tool you can see we are having a new sub tool again from here in brush palette I am going to use groom brushes for giving it some hairstyle so I off it and open the wireframe for grooming I am using groom strong And grooming it from side first from side to the back and doing straight on top on the texture and doing off the wireframe let's check with BPR render
so now for more chrome I am using chrome brush one of it try to give some flow If you think that fibers are too much, it is 45,000. So you can switch off it and again come here in fiber. On the preview, we have all setting and do it 10. And again, do accept with no. And again in sub tool you can see it is having 30 and it is having 45,000 so this is how you can change the counts you have no need to worry about the settings and on it again and for exporting it you can use these formats OBJ are universal and you can export in Maya also so this is it for the tutorial I hope you like it please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you have any request you can mail me in shanky.u.9 at the rate gmail.com and wait for another tutorial thank you very much